supposed to have some games. Trusses are going up. It's going up fast. Damn, that's high. It makes this garage look even bigger getting those trusses up there. Hey guys, welcome back to Classic G Body Garage. Well, this is it. Classic G Body Garage is finally being constructed. I finally have, or will have, a place to keep all of my cars. I have them scattered all over the place. I had the white Malibu over a friend's house and I have four more cars sitting in another storage facility. Have been paying rent on those for 10 years. So definitely a long time coming. And this is what it looks like. So I figure I'd walk you guys through this uh, while it's going up. If you check out the other video, which I have linked in the upper right hand corner, I'm gonna start a playlist on the garage uh, just uh, basically the video prior to this is just an empty plot of land and uh, getting ready for them to start building. So the dimensions are 48 wide, 64 deep, 10 foot lean to. That will be a porched area, porched in, uh, have a roof over top there. So let me just walk inside and show you guys what I have going on. I have the, uh, those plastic protectors or those sleeves that go on the bottom of the, uh, the pillars there, the poles. Those are called post, post protectors. Right there, post protector. That is going to keep these, these uh, posts from rotting over time. Make sure that this thing does not come down ever. Unless Mother Nature has other plans for it. But walking through here, once... The trusses started going up. Boy, this thing really started to take shape and felt big. Now this is the place where all of the cars that you sit, see sitting out there, or that you have seen sitting out there in my past videos, they were all sitting right here. And now, had to move those out of the way. If you guys saw my past videos wondering why those cars are all over the property, well this is why. Had to uh, make room to start planning this thing out. Had to knock down a bunch of trees, tear out a bunch of trees over on this side. Took out about 10 feet of brush and then one large tree back there. So like I said, this is 48 wide, 64 deep. And this is what it looks like from inside. And uh, how I'll do it is I have a lift right here in the middle, pulling in the, uh, the garage straight ahead the overhead door it'll be a 12 foot high 16 feet wide and then on the back side I have an offset garage door 10 by 10 just because of the way my property is laid out I have right there right, these pine trees are the property marker so we're 12 feet off the property people's property comes back here ends right at the pine tree it's a stake in the ground Right, right there. That's where their property start, stops. That pine tree will come out and I'll have plenty of room to pull out of the back. I just wanted a door in the back just for access in the back of the garage. Also for some, some breeze to come through, some light to come through. And then this is the, gonna be the side I'm gonna have to workshop on. The man door is going to be right here under the porch. I'm gonna have two windows on this wall, a window on either side of the garage door. And then I have this plotted out to go right at the end of my driveway. Perfect place for it. And then my property kind of make it make basically it's a, a square with a chunk taken out of it uh, back there. So property then goes all the way back to the, the tree line and then about 12 feet into the tree line back there so that's how my property is laid out so this is basically the perfect place I got the pavilion right there the perfect place for this building to go just because I have the wood burner right there and then I'll have this all graveled graveled off so between the garage sitting here and the pavilion sitting there it'll make a nice 90 
right here. I'll get this, uh, cut this tree down, get the, the stump ground down flat. This will all be gravel here. And then this uh, empty space between the tree line on this side and the garage, I'll have a perfect place to put cars that I'm parting out, cars that don't need to sit inside and take up room. I'll put gravel back in here and that'll be my uh, little stash, my little junkyard area back in here. Uh, no one will really be able to see it because it's blocked by wood burner. On the other side of the trailer here, there's a tree line, a couple of big pine trees. This is the trailer they're working out of. All the tools are in there, so definitely a good, a good area here to keep the uh, junk cars out of the way and out of sight. So there you go. So that's what it's looking like so far. Wanted to give you guys a quick tour on what it's looking like and keep up with the uh, uh, the videos on this as this is being constructed. It's going up real, real quick. Uh, this is only day two. First day was uh, digging holes and setting the poles. Day two was uh, framing it all up and get the trusses up. So have the, uh, the front truss to go up still and that's what it looks like so far. So it'll go up quick so I'll be putting these videos up uh, one by one, let me back up real quick and uh, show you what it looks like. There you go, 48 wide, 64 deep, classic G-body garage is finally going up. Okay guys, well that's it. Like I said, keep up on these videos. New viewers, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and everyone, go ahead and leave those comments. Until the next classic G-body garage video, keep those G-bodies rolling.